Hello everybody, this is Capes Games, and welcome back to Crossout. Um, today, I got this build prepared for you guys, and um, I'm not actually gonna build it right now, but I'm more like gonna dissect it. And what may, uh, because this right here is pretty much the most all-around possible um, final high tier build that you can possibly get. So, what does this thing feature? Okay, this thing features uh, two weapon platforms that can carry pretty much any weapon, ranging from things like Reaper, Spark, Quasar, Tsunami, um, Firebug, Scorpion, Hurricane. One exception, well, two exceptions are the Mandrake and Mammoth. Those are the only two weapons that it cannot handle. I mean, it, you can handle... Uh, Fat man, stuff like that. I mean, yeah, the only thing you cannot handle is the mammoth, which because it's eight by eight and are t these are two six by six slots. That's 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 really all there is to it. Like red shirts, no problem. Just stick to their well energy issues in this scenario. Uh, scorpions fit there perfectly as well, and of course they're just grails, and they'll stick on. And no, actually, let's put them on forward because you don't really have to put them exactly on the grills, but having them connect to the hand back cabin is actually helpful, let's say. So, yeah, like what else does it offer? So, first off, it has, offers a 6x6 under cabin um, space, it offers two 4x4x2 four by four by um, side, uh, uh, side uh, skirts under the humpback, and just this huge 6 by 6 by 4 room here, and another 4 by 6 room right here. You could remove this one if you wanted to, but you would weaken this uh, frame because if you would lose this one or this one, you'll be dead. So that's why we got this uh, lightweight frame right here. You can uh, move this one back and forth if you want, but I'm mainly using this like right here, so I can put a Apollo right here. You can, you have this is as far back as you can put it. However, you can also put it like farther forward if you want to, or make like make a two space right here for one generator and make a giant room for the rest. So yeah, three thousand health actually right here, and. Uh, I have to say, it can barely manage any more mass. With even with the tsunami, you are actually forced to use a cheetah for the extra three thousand tonnage. Uh, or a horse actually works too, at two and a half thousand plus extra modules. And of course, a limited fifteen energy because this is a humpback now with eleven energy, which is kind of a bummer. But again, actually, guys, um, little update. I actually sent my uh, uh the like w my thoughts about what the update or uh, to Tarkum and I advise them to reroll the update. Um, if you guys want, just comment down below and I'll actually make a. Fee um, oh wait, yeah, I can I? I don't think like, I show that anymore because it was like say hey, it's sent and bye. But otherwise, I would be f um like I mean, I would be feel free to like show you guys what I exactly sent. But I guess I forgot that. Sorry guys. Um, yeah, I mean. Cutting it down right here. I'm gonna just like destroy it part for part, and then I'm gonna rebuild it again um, using uh, the Control Z option. So that's the base gone of armor protection. Weapon mounts, cabin, wheels gone. So, okay, I guess we start here. Left side, 2 by 4, Sigma 4. We start mounting the central position and we add a 8 by 4 in front of it. Then we get a 6 by 4 that we add just like two blocks next to it, and we make it uh, together with one more 6x4 and two more 4x4, so we make it a total of 10 by 8 surface, and we work the same way backwards. 
and we start adding our wheels. So we got a wheel rod here, like in the rear of this frame section, just as far as forward as possible, as and then just like linking it behind them. This is well, you can move these ones like a little bit forward or backwards if you want, but I don't see really a reason to do that. Humpback goes. Wait. Oh shit. Oh, thank god. <laughs> uh, if I would have placed it, I wouldn't be able to do uh, Ctrl C anymore. So basically, it's co uh, connecting to the front two with just one block and to the rear one with just one block. So then go the weapon parts and we surround the rear section with armor. One layer in the back of ABC panel and a canvas roof and ABC panel on the sides. The large steering wheels will also provide protection in the rear. And of course it's rear and you should never like face it to anybody. Facing a build like this because it's kind of tilted. And because of that, um, like that's for more gun progression with having weapons behind the cabin. So they can still fire at like level targets. That's the reason why you got uh, large wheels in the rear, me uh, medium sized wheels in the fr uh, front. And now we start adding the armor. So first we add uh, like ABC panels around the cabin. Now from back to forth, we start with buggy grill and um, a fender, as well as two cooling systems and a Torino bonnet uh, right here. Uh, that will cover the side for the guns. The front of the guns will also be covered by hullback and our wing. And next section will be uh, filled up by two canvas roofs. Now to the front, we uh, this is more decor item. You can you can do it really need, but we're kind of add a small strut. Fender and a narrow wing. Now the front section is mostly filler. We got a um, ABC panel two, two strength ventilation slope, and an armor travel slope. And this is already filled by two truck doors. So this part is by an ABC panel and a hard modules, as well as a trauma travel slope and strike plate. And right here we go and do the same parts with the uh, other side. And um, I think that's it already. Yeah, this is just move me moving the uh, this thing. So yeah, that's really it. So I'm gonna show you some example loadouts. I'm gonna play one two matches with it. So first off, it's gonna be Reapers. Uh, Reaper goes there, uh, for just for a placeholder. And um, you can use either Apollo or. Um, gas generator like Apollo right here fits perfectly but I'm gonna use a gas generator for you guys for people that do not have an Apollo yet I'm gonna stick a fuel tank underneath here as well and the fuel barrel too if you're really just gonna stick in between wait 86 34 yeah you wanted the 34 half so the gas generator want to be in the mid center and uh, kind of shielded with the fuel barrel I guess and we're gonna have this stunning space in this uh, right there, uh, left. So there it goes, the second one. And uh, now we go to engines. Uh, Rod Rad is a zero energy um, engine, which adds uh, bonus stats. So we are gonna add it because it's gonna give us just advantages. And on our side, we're gonna add expanded ammo packs because we need ammo for the Reapers, and otherwise we're going to run dry pretty damn quickly. Next up are some radiators. Um, I guess we're going to put them right here. Like this. Okay, let's have already removed that part. And put it back. And we've got a small space right here left. We don't really need to use it, but um, let's see. No, let's not just not. Let's keep it this way. I mean, we could add two more ammo packs, but adding more explosives, nah. Let's keep it like this. So this is pretty much the maximum parts used already. Um, since I have one more part, I'm just I can like add some further armor, but I kind of like having this fission slate right here and. And actually, that's just a chair, guys. If you um, think like, wait, what's that? That's just a chair. It's not actually a person. So there go the reapers. You can put them close together if you want. 
like quite a lot closer but I kind of like them right here so keep them like this and if you want you can add a radar um, like right here behind but it's not really built to carry a radar that's the only part it like doesn't really carry in terms of modules especially if like if you're gonna take a scorpion you're not gonna run those <coughs> so I'm gonna play a simple match right here and also this is still like an 11,000 bar score rig of a monster machine so matchmaker will probably take a while because people are not really running that high of power score vehicles right now because everything was like screwed up and most people went down a lot in power score and yes, the explosives are kind of far in front, but I mean, you got 8, 10 blocks of armor. That's also a little bit tilted, so like, right this, like a little bit tilted. And nobody is actually going to see those parts. Except maybe a, um, like, scorpion guy. And this thing actually has really good speed. And I realize my... Uh, racing wheels aren't steering. Ah, rip. They should be steering. That would have made it much better. Now I got a really wide turning circle. Watch out, pretty big vehicle. And there's already a guy behind us. Great. Guy going front left, guy to the right here. Let's unload the guns. A little bit. Power down. And he's jumping. And there he goes. Guy on the left. Three guys on the right. According to radar. Let's help the guys a little bit. Alright. I'll give him a kill. I'm not gonna kill still that like that. Triple Thunderbolt, nice. Was that a guy? That might have been a guy, actually. And I have to turn around, quickly. Guns are gone. Yep, there they go. So yeah, even though this thing does carry all weapons, it is not made to actually carry one specific weapon. It's just if you've got a lot of weapons, so you'll be uh, want to be able to swap out between vehicles really quickly, then this would be something for you. And that's a twin rat shirt. Those are hurting. Holy shit. Those are weapons are probably the ones that are gonna be next for me to use. Got a hole into his armor. Here goes the T-bolt. Nice job, T-bolt. And this is a drone guy. So all that's left of it, at least, is a drone. Possibly a spear user. Works still. And GG. <coughs> Only gonna do like one like one battle per we uh vehicle just like to accept like make examples i'm gonna keep the uh, bottom loadout the same and we're gonna go on to the next weapon next weapons hammer falls hammer falls do i do want to keep them much closer together and yes this is a much too big rig to carry them kinda and um actually again i will be using the hot red got speed boost and who doesn't want speed boost for free even though it doesn't add tonnage and does add weight it's still a really nice thing and we'll be adding first off a improved cooler like so and actually this one is not touching the wall there we go and then two more of those uh, there we go. It's one and two. 
and the less energy will go into a charged radiator because this, these effects do not fully stack. And there we go. Like, they have some diminishing returns built in, kind of. That's just how they work. If you add more, like the actual time reduced gets less, even though the percentage stays the same. So that's why at some point it's more effective to just add a radiator to fire longer and deal more damage. Like it will be in efficient it will be more efficient to add another one of those. After this I will probably add actually a second radiator over a fourth cooler. Because three coolers is more than enough. I mean That fire fast. And I will be a I'll have a random chance to disable people. And we got a guy with top 100, T-O-U-I, and a guy where he is riding with. It's this cash guy is it. Twin Tsunami on now on a ground vehicle. I bet that you used to be a hover. And he recognizes me. Nice. <laughs> and I forgot to switch out the wheels. Oh no. <laughs> This might actually be able to, this might actually use a, um, like, uh, what's it called? Um, ah, god. No protection from behind, and instant gun. Ah, uh, rip. Plus 100% damage on the cabin, and he just shreds right through me. Those seem to be a new meta, like, for real. Oh, well. I guess we're going back. I mean, just showing off multiple versions. I'm not really having my a really good day right now, so I'm not even gonna like defend me myself. It's like, oh, that was just bad luck. No, that was just bad skill on my side. I'm just so tired and well, I'm not really feeling well. So, so yeah, sparks we can carry those, but those are only eight energy, and we kind of want to have a third. And well, having a turret that doesn't only it only supports two weapons, so I'm actually gonna skip that one. And um, I think I'm gonna go on with these guns. Actually, do these not fit? Are these bigger than a freaking scorpion? What happened to this thing's hitbox? Oh my god! I thought these things were still like the same size. I actually didn't test this, so oh well, rip, rip that. And well, tsunamis. I have to say. Downside with these ones is gun depression. You gotta look at this much gun depression and nothing more. So you have a pretty big minimum range if you're gonna put it behind the cabin like this. So that will be a bummer. But, like, they will be really well protected. I mean, if you put them, like, especially if you put them, like, one close together. Pretty damn well protected. So, uh, I'll actually have to move them out of the way for a moment so I can actually peek in here. And we'll be loading this thing up with first off a chameleon to keep herself hidden from enemy fire and stuff like that. And, uh, wait. Can I fit this in there? Yes, I can. Great. And it looks like we're hitting tonnage limits here. So, like, we're not really gonna add any more stuff. This is, like, really it for this vehicle. It's still fast, but it's just, just hitting tonnage limit. And it says it's still fast and it gets so sack. Oh, rip. Well, 27 runs way too much for a tsunamis to be honest so we're gonna remove one of these and speed is gonna be much better hopefully yeah that's okay for being sniper with stealth and this I'm not going to forget guys I'm gonna swap out the wheels and instead, we're gonna change out these ones for non steering. You do need the extra tonnage there. 
And actually, these ones will we keep. We'll keep these ones as non-steering as well. And there we go. Actually, tonnage achieved. Saw you better turning circle. But yeah, there we go. <coughs> Let's go, guys. Next match. Um, I have to say, Ampulse, Retcher, new meta guys, I guess. So after this, I guess we can, we can check out F F Fat Man, after that Retcher, and then Hurricane Scorpion. I guess those are the weapons we're going to check out now. So let's see, don't really see anything specific. Special on the player lists. So yeah, let's go. Little Twin Reaper guy. Cute. Time to charge up after I at least can settle down. And here we go with the gun depression issues, actually. So I guess we're gonna go like this. Oh my god, I did it. I did not put my chameleon on a different button. Oh my god, that's stupid. That's very stupid. I guess I'll be not using the scope for now. Use the stealth generator to get closer. And there we go. And we got a kill. Finish, please. I don't understand whatever you're saying. Missed. Is he driving himself into the asset? Almost. Pretty solid hits there, actually. People are saying that cannons aren't doing any damage anymore, but I'm actually still doing decent here. Can I hit him like that? Yes. That was kind of short. Let's aim up. There we go. Already better hits. Still too low though. That's a good hit. Here we go. Ah crap. I'm not gonna out turn this guy. Oh, if he hits a wall here, yeah, ma'am. Drive back, drive back, drive back, drive back, drive back. Hit the gun, drive back. And got the gun. And rip. Couldn't even self destruct. And the last guy is also the gun. Let's hope he can cap the second slot before time's out and nobody comes stop him. If it actually happens then we win, I think. Two, one... Damn, that's so close! Awesome! GG. That was a nice victory. <laughs> so close. So, back to all round mode. And as said, next we're gonna use. Actually, I think we can keep this stuff. However, I'll be needing a second box of this, and then we can use the fat mans. Can we put the fat mans close together? Only one side, so I'm gonna keep them like this. <coughs> Let's actually stick on some paint here. Gonna go over forest. Some camera patterns always look cool. 
Let's check out this friend request. Director DJ. I'm not sure. Even though he's Russian. I'll add him to the list. I'll I literally add anybody to the list. Until it's full. And then I'll have to start being picky. I guess. And. Oh. Yeah. This is got actually probably going to be a really good setup actually. With, oh wait, uh, console. Uh, first up, put the chameleon on my mouse button group, and um, and and get myself the scope back. Where are you? There you are. And let's get it in the middle. This is a much better setup with scope and having the separate neutrino I intermediate mean, mouse setting because I don't want to cloak whenever I zoom in with my scope. I mean, that's ridiculous. Why would anybody actually do that? <laughs> like, why would you want to? Oh, there we go. Okay, hey, and shock. Bit of a glamour is going here now. Three guys in there. This is going to be working together pretty well. Probably. That's a missile uh, carrier. That's neat. And this, is pretty cra this is a nice craft, actually. This is not that expensive because there's actually no legendaries on here at all. And ouch, that hurt. Ha! <laughs> uh, rip. There I go instantly. <laughs> oh my god. Beautiful shot, Bender, eh, guy. Beautiful shot. Oh, I can damage people. Feel the rev of my cannon. Die! No, 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 no! Don't shoot my your gun at me. Good boy. No! Don't shoot me again! You already shot me! There we go. I got a kill like this, boys. That's a new one. Pretty sure. I got a cloak up here. Oh god. Why you hit me? Alright, let's fire that shot. Yeah, just to be sure. Been a long time since I shot the cannons. But this velocity is so low, it's like ridiculous. It's more like a volleyball launcher than an actual cannon. Oh. Push me. Push me, senpai. Push me. Oh, no, 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 no. That hurts. And there we go. That guy. Beautiful shot, man. If you see this video, kudos on you. That was such a beautiful shot. How do you see... All the enemies and you aim so well. That's a really, really good shot. He's a really good shot. Like, I can't deny it. Might be a bit, a little bit of luck. But anyway, let's go on to the next weapon. Retcher. Retcher being both ammo and heat based. We're gonna uh, remove the chameleon. And I think we're just gonna stick on to improved cooler here. <coughs> Sorry guys. Still sick. And two coolers is here is what fits, so here we go. Riding into the, the next battle. Might actually have to wait until the battle results, but Oh, there we already go. Nice. Again with shock. 
Oh, another, uh, top 100 guy. Pretty cool. To see those playing so often. Where is he? It's that guy. What is he carrying? Mini guns? I think it's a, those are mini guns. But yeah. Pretty large ammo pool right here. We gotta build like artillery. Oh, here we go. No, there's actually shotguns. Works too. I want to garb bomb people here. Look at the amount of grenades flying everywhere. This is not good though. Rip. Oh, I wanted to play with Roger so bad and have fun, but... I guess rushing through an enemy like fire at street <coughs> isn't that smart? I'll say there's distraction boy. Got through there. Charge! Suicide! Charge! Hello! Boom! Feel my wrath for me getting degunned. That's a high mounting point for a freaking gun, and the five harvest is actually pretty interesting. Setup. That's cool. And we got this guy. I mean, the top 100 guy is actually already dead. Wow. This guy has a cabin so far forward. I mean, it does look kind of cool, but... Mm, how effective would it be? Well, actually, this guy has turret and two sidekicks, so I guess you need the space behind there. Putting your front will only result in them getting cut, uh, shot off before you get killed. I guess. As a real thumb, you kind of want to have your weapons fall off at the same moment you die. Not sooner, not later. If you like can balance those two out between dying and getting weapon shot off, then you're actually pretty solid. So I guess, uh, those will not have a good representation of what they are now. Um, Firebug won't even touch those. Instead, Hurricanes. Those two will be away, and I'll be mounting a powerful radio detector. And a cloaking device. There we go. And the Germanian. I actually have to might have to move it to a different location because the Germanian is gonna stick out from the front bottom because it's five long. There we go. I don't think it actually fits. Right here. Like, it will fit like this, I guess, but it will probably scrape through the, on the ground. Instead, like, um, I think I'm just gonna pop it right here. And I'll be sticking on a radio to convey all that data that that powerful uh, radio detector collects to my allies. <coughs> because I'm not gonna keep all that information to myself, guys. I'm gonna send it to allies, and meanwhile, the radio is gonna protect the, ra uh, the radio itself from shots from behind. And this is just gonna be a long range activity platform. And now, gun depression doesn't even matter anymore. Just fire away. Doesn't sky launch or whatever, it will just fire direct fire missiles. Even at medium range, it'll do its job. And that's all it needs to do, to be honest. Like, vertical missile launch, it's a bit of too complicated, I guess. And time for a match. <coughs> uh, don't see anything special. All no ranks. I guess we can do a little bit of a play through of me trying to do ranked with random builds. 
That might actually be a uh, uh, thing, like me doing ranked with builds from you, like from the exhibition. That might actually be a fun thing. So let's see. Oh, target. Let's see where he goes. He's going left, so the missiles will follow him. There he goes. Ah, rip. That's what you get for not getting into cover, to be honest. That's that's literally all what happens. He didn't get into cover. You could just stop there. Oh. Ways of a half a folly. And those guys will punish me. Let's get out of here. If possible. Undercloak. Undercloak. And right here. Good. Two targets destroyed. Ouch, that's not good. Oh, stop. There we go. Miss of Holly. Ah, oh, he's dead. Never mind. Cloak up. Roll up. And let's see what we can do here in the pain of the missiles. Wait for it. Wait for it. Fire the missiles. Goss. And hide. Dodge the shots. That's a machine gun guy. I won't be able to fire that guy at short range. Uh, not even. Nope. And I'm very much dead. Not even... I won't even uh, manage to like turn on this self destruct. Damn it! So this thing can literally can carry anything without needing to change. So it's it's like a build that you would you can save and save a lot of blueprint slots if you got like multiple big weapons. You can just save it up and change out without doing having to do much and save so much blueprint space you can do a lot of other builds. That's basically what this thing is meant to be. So finally, the scorpions. Again, stealth generator, and we're gonna grab our scope again instead of the radar. And this is the ultimate sniper, of course. Well, well, these guns are the ultimate sniper weapons. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. Gotta put this on the second button because and uh, neutrino quickly in different group. Or actually, I want to put that one on group F. I like Jimmy that mouse five, kinda. And let's see how quick we get a match, but like, boom, boom, by gun. It's it's such a sniper weapon. <coughs> you do have to consider that um, when how uh, how further the way the guns are apart. That they might actually not actually uh, um, entirely hit at the center of where you want to aim. One will uh, the left gun will uh, hit slightly left, and the right gun will slightly um, hit slightly right. And how for, uh, if they are further away from each other, or like compared to the scope, if they are further away from the scope, you will notice that difference more and more. So that's one thing to like as a tip: like get the three uh, parts as close together as possible. Chameleon on top right here. And what am I doing? Why am I going here? Oh boy. I chose a really bad position for me to start out with. Oh, those tree? Yeah, those are tree. Missed the guns. Oh, I, I think I just hit a half on that guy. That must have hurt. Damn, that king is explosives explosives everywhere. Fire. Fire at this guy. There we go, we're no longer accurate enough to really fire properly. Ooh, just, just got rid of the tread. Come out, come out. I'll be shooting your gun off. Ah, 
Oh, now you come out. Kill a sister. Oh, guy behind. I think you see him. Yeah, there he is. It's really hard to acquire the full target, though. There we go. Can't really see because either the bush in the way or I think it's else in the way. It's really annoying. Oh, he's moving up. Ooh! Right in his ammo. <coughs> well, or generator. And GG, boys. Yeah, this was the last one. <laughs> Again, you can carry pretty much anything you want and just save yourself blueprint space. I mean, yes, you can modify this thing and, like, move this part up and move this part up if you want to. Like, you can do minor tweaking to improve it. You can, you might want to change your frontal armor layout because currently it's more, like, looking cool. Otherwise, you could also do something very simple. Oh. Like, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we do cut like just like this and stuff like that. Would save some parts, but I, in my opinion, it looks not as good as this setup. So I'll be using this as frontal armor as example. And this is, of course, this is a build for you to change upon. If you want to, you can put like put this thing stuff like here, and put the Apollo underneath there for an extra energy point. That always helps, of course. And also, pretty pretty funny thing, if you like delete stuff, um, that's uh, the sometimes the pattern of the paint changes. It's really funny. But uh, doesn't do it always, but um, if you would know that, uh, like, watch it and go back a small moment, you could see how the pattern actually changed. But that said, I wanted to thank you guys all very much for watching. Sorry I didn't build this thing along, like, with the video. Um, like, I was building it off record because it took a really long time to get this thing, like, fit. And I decided, no, I didn't want to record that, so here you guys go a little bit simplified and well yeah of course thank you guys all very much for watching as always and hopefully when i'm better i can do videos every day i'm not right like now doing once every two days or something i kind of skipped yesterday didn't re i really didn't feel well so yeah again thank you guys all very much for watching and i'll catch you guys all later see you guys